Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gamble with Jimmy. In today's session, we're going to do a review. Uh, this guy's name is Bluff. His channel's name is Bluff. Um, he's got a large following. Um, a lot of people like to watch him gamble. Um, he gambles where he pretty much loses most of the time. Uh, a lot of people like to watch action. Um, but my advice to Bluff would be stop uh, playing craps this way. Um, you want to play in a completely different way. I know that you're trying to uh, entertain and everything, but it's very expensive for you. You use a lot of your profits that you make from your YouTube channel and all your hard work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simulation of how I would like him to play. And uh, we'll go ahead and watch all the mistakes that he makes in the way that he plays craps, which is not recommended. So, all right, so he's got $2,000 buy-in. And um, he's going to invest $1,000. He's got 50 on the pass line, and he's got 200 on the odds on the five, which is way too large based on his... Uh, percentage of his buy-in okay so what he's going to do now <clears throat> he's going to invest a total of a thousand dollars across the board including his pass line wager so he's basically investing 50 percent of his money with no hedge whatsoever And his style of play is that when he does win, he doesn't rack it. He, he can't help himself but continue to just throw it back into uh, the game where he's already investing 50% of his money. Okay, so he is going to lose to a 7. So he just lost 50% of his buy-in. So he's going to start over and put $50 on the pass line. Okay, he's going to get a point here. Okay, so now he's got $275 invested, which is 30% of his remaining money on the eight that he just literally rolled to get to the point. And the rest of that $1,000 is going to go across the board on every single number, including the 2 and the 3 and the 11 and the 12. So he's got every single number. With no hedge. Okay, so as soon as he gets money, now remember, he's already lost $1,000. Okay, so he already has all his remaining money out there, and he decides to press. Pressing should only be done when you're up a large amount of profit, or you have a hedge that allows it. Okay, now he gets a huge hit on the snake eyes, okay? He got $100 on it and paid him like 600 Okay, so he racks that. <clears throat> and he just can't help himself. He, okay, that money needs to stay in the rack. You cannot continue to press when you already lost a thousand dollars and you have all of your money on the board with no hedge that's just complete reckless that's just complete recklessness right that's insane okay so had he been racking the money 
every time that he wins, he would have actually built up enough not only to have the $1,000 back, but to actually have $2,000 in his rack and $1,000 in pending bets. You can't have, when you play craps, you can't have a mentality that you're looking for long rolls. You can't play craps like that. You will get destroyed. And when you're fortunate to be getting back this amount of money, it needs to go in the rack. Okay, and the most, the, I think the longest that he's able to keep a win that he gets in his, in his uh, rack is one roll. He, he just cannot go more than one roll of having that money in his rack. Okay, so just on those two wins alone, he has his $1,000 back. So technically, he's not even down right now. It's tough for him. It's really tough for him. He's like, okay, okay, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. What he should have done, uh, what he should have done there was he should have reduced all his bets to the original thousand total, and he would have had all that. He would have had about sixteen hundred dollars in his hand, and he would have only been down four hundred. Okay, so he, instead he gets picked off with all those press bets on there. Okay, let me get rid of this commercial. Hold on one second. Okay, he would have had all all of his money on basically. And now he um, is going to play on the remaining money that he, he still has. He does 50 on a pass line. Okay, so he goes another 225. So he has $275 invested on the pass line bet. And then he's going to go right back to his same ways. Of just putting money across the board where he has no intentions of keeping it if he wins. You know, it's not that he can't learn how to be a great player in craps. Um he he this is the way he plays and um you know, I don't know. Uh, he he. Maybe this is the only way he knows how to play. He, maybe no one's ever really pointed it out to him of what he's doing, or maybe he doesn't care. Okay, even when he was down to his last six seven hundred dollars, he's still getting wins. And he still had another chance to rack his bet, his winnings. But he just keeps wanting to press. Okay, more money he would have had. He's had multiple chances to, to, to let that build up. And he just can't do it. Just can't do it. He's like, hey, take more. What am I going to do with this? These are just chips. I, I've, craps is a fun game, but it's, it's no fun to lose $2,000 or $2,500. Hey, look at how many times that he has hit. If he would have been racking from, if he would have racked every single time, he literally would have won $1,000 instead of losing $2,500. That's a $3,500 more in his pocket. 
because he ends up losing this money that you're all this money that he has he's going to lose every penny of course you knew that he was gonna um the way he plays but he he's going to lose this money and then he's going to buy in for 500 more and he's going to lose that in like two seconds And then in the simulator, I'm going to show you what I would have preferred that he had done. And I'll even show how he plays. And I'll show that when I play like him and I start playing his way, the bank account will go down. We will start losing his way. And then if I play my way, the bank account's going to go up. So he just lost it all. He buys in for 500 more. And this money lasts about... 30 seconds. I think he feels more comfortable with $10 in his rack. The casino's loving him. <laughs> They're loving this guy. They're like, yeah, come play craps anytime. Come do all your videos here. And he sevens out and bye bye 2500 bucks. okay? So I'll go ahead and now show you what I would recommend that Bluff does when he plays craps. He steps up there. He's making good video content for his subscribers. He doesn't have to lose his hard-earned money that he makes on YouTube just to entertain you. He can entertain you in a more intelligent way when he plays craps, okay? Um, so here's what I would do. Bluff, if you're watching, this is what I would do, buddy. Okay, let's start off with a small hedge on the don't pass, okay? These do not have hot bets, all right? Now, you're not betting big enough here. If you know if you're doing a hundred, then I would hop the six one and the four three. I would hop those two, and I would put five dollars each on each one of those. So you do your rollout. Okay, so the point is a five. Okay, so now you got fifty dollars to play with. Okay, you got fifty dollars to play with. So let's go ahead and do this the uh, the six and the nine. And we know that it's going to be another five here. So we got $5 over our budget of our $50 hedge. Okay, so we hit the worst number, which is our hedge. Okay, so we go, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave... We're going to take off. We're going to have everything off. And then we're going to go to 100 now. And I would put $5 on the 6-1 hop and $5 on the 4-3 hop. This system doesn't allow it. Okay, so we, we don't get picked off. So that's good. All right. So we'll go ahead and leave this 25 here. If, if this was, I would take that 25 and put it on the 5. But this system doesn't let me do that. So we'll just leave it there. Okay, unfortunately, it takes away $25 from our hedge. And we'll go like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we hit our five. We get $35. It stays in the rack. There is no more investing. Okay, so we're going to make a profit. Now we're up profit. We got all our money back. And we're going to just simply start it over with a $50 hedge. Okay, point is a five. We got $50 to play with. We're going to go with the nine and the eight. So we're going to go over budget by $5. Okay, we hit our nine. It's $35. We're going to leave that money there. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can hit the eight. And we hit the eight. Okay, now... We're going to roll it out for the seven. It's the seven versus the five. And we hit it. Okay. So you're up $150.
all right? Now, here's what you're doing, and we're going to play your way, okay? This is what you're doing. You're coming over here and going, uh, what is going on here? Oh, it wants me to do a pass line bet. Okay, so we'll put a quarter here. Okay, so you're getting your point, okay? So your point's an eight, and you're going like this. Yeah, let me just have all these numbers across like this. Okay, you're putting all your money like this. All right, and you're rolling. Okay, you hit the, uh, well, you hit the, the don't, so that's that's no big deal. We'll give We'll give you another one. You're not even doing the don't, but we'll give you the don't. Okay, so you got all your numbers. Okay, so here's what you're doing. As soon as you get money, you're going back and you're pressing it. Okay, you get your money, you're going back and you're pressing it. And there you go. And now you're lost all the profits that we had. Okay, so you do it again. You put a hundred here. Okay, you win a hundred. You do it again. Okay, the point is a five. And you go like this. Three, three, that's 75. 75. Okay. And your attitude is I gotta get my money back. And look what happens when we start playing your way. You are not going to win in craps in this game playing the way that you do. Watch what happens when we go back to playing smart. Okay? We lost. So we'll go up a unit. Okay. Point is a six. We have a little bit of money to play with. Okay? We'll go with the five and the nine. Okay? We hit the seven. Now, remember, we got to get back the money that we lost. Okay? Okay? So we're going to go 50. Okay, we win there. I'm going to repeat it. Okay, the point is a 5. We have $50 to play with. Let's go with the 6 and 8. We're going to go over budget by $10. Okay, we hit the don't. So we're going to increase the don't to 100. Okay, now... We, we're going to go ahead. We got a little bit of money to play with. So we're going to go, uh, we'll go 50 bucks on the five. And there's the five. Okay. So we'll go, we got a little more money to play with. Let's go 25 and 25 on the nine and 10. And there's our seven. Okay. We still got to get back our money from the money that playing your way lost. Okay. The point is a 10. We'll go with the five and the six, just two numbers. Okay, we hit the 10. We'll bump up our don't to 100. We'll bump it up to 150. Okay, point is an eight. We got a little more money to play with, so we'll bump this up, and we'll go 50 here on the nine. Okay, we hit the 7. We'll go 100 here. Point is a 4. Let's go 50 on the 5 and the 9. Okay, we hit our 9. We won't replace anything. We hit our 7. We made more profit, okay? So we're grinding it. Okay, we're going to lose that. We'll go up to 100. Point is an eight. We got a hundred to play with. Let's go. Let's go fifty here and fifty here. Okay, we hit our six. Let's go with a quarter on the four. We hit our ten for a hundred. Okay, now we're in profit, so we're only going to go another quarter, hoping that we hit a 7 or a 5 or a 4. And there's our 7. We make another 50, and now the bankroll's going back up. It's going back up. We'll go 50. Okay, points of 6. We only have 50 to work with. 
So let's go on the 5 and the 8. Okay, we make another 50. Or actually, we only had 50 on the don't. So we, we, we broke even. Okay, so we're going to go 25 and 25 here. Okay, we hit the 6. Let's put another quarter on the 5. We hit the 5. We're not going to bet no more. If we hit a 7, we earn a quarter. If we hit a 9, we earn 35. Okay, so we hit the point. I believe we hit the point. So what we're going to do is just go back 50 here. Okay, point is a 6. Let's put a quarter on a 5. Okay, we hit our 9. We're not going to invest no more. And there's 7. We get another 50. So we're almost at almost getting our money back. Okay, we'll go 50. Okay, that's another 50. Okay, we got a 9 point. We got 50 bucks to use. Let's go with the 4 and the 8. Okay, 7 out. We're going to uh, make a little bit. Okay, go 50. 8 points and 8. Let's go with the let's go with the 4 and the 5. Okay, we hit our 5. We're not going to reinvest. And we hit our 4. Okay? So now we're going to put we got 50 on the don't, right? We're going to put 30, 35 on the 8. That way we cannot lose. And we're just going to roll this out. We'll make a little more money if we hit the 7. All right, so we hit the 8, and we got all of our money back that we had to get back from the way that you were playing. If you would have kept playing, you would have lost all of the money. So the moral of the story is play this way. Start playing more intelligently, bud, because you don't have to play recklessly just because you have a YouTube channel. Okay? You can still entertain playing smarter. So this should be a positive video not a negative video um you got a great channel i'm gonna go ahead and recommend that my subscribers go and watch his channel um and uh hopefully uh he can watch this video and maybe get some uh, training from me uh, i am setting up my memberships uh so you guys will see that it's um four dollars and 95 cents per month um all comments are disabled. You'll be able to participate in live chats and comment on um, on that. And then you have a, a, a silver membership and a gold membership. Uh, the silver is $49 a month. That allows you all the live chats. That allows you, allows you the live sessions. That allows you... Uh, group training where I will train you in the group when we're in chat and you'll be able to participate on the live action games that I'm playing. And then the gold memberships is 99, 100 bucks a month. That gives you the same as the silver, but you get private training one on one for me uh, per month. So every time that we have a, a private training session, you will be able to be one on one with me um, and I can give you more attention to detail on the training. OK, which is a steal. There's people uh, that do craps training for two days and charge two thousand dollars. So um, this is only for memberships only. So Buff, if you're watching, I highly recommend you do some private training with me, brother. OK, guys, thank you so much and I will see you on the next video.